Hi everyone, this is Heather Lottenden from the Flourish Academy where our goal is to empower, educate, and elevate you to create a life that you love through the art and business of photography. In this video, we are going to explore a new feature of the Merge to Panorama tool inside of Lightroom. But first, please check out our sponsor, ymcamera.com for all of your photography needs. And if you're enjoying these videos, please subscribe, leave a comment, and share with your photographer friends. It helps us to produce more videos. I took these two photographs with the Fuji X100F when my family and I were visiting the Colosseum in Rome. And in a previous video, I took these two images and I merged it to this panoramic. But I wanna do it again using this new feature so that you can see the difference. So what I'm going to do is select both of these images and then in the menu, go to Photo, Photo Merge, Panorama, Previously, what I would typically do is just choose auto crop and it would crop the image in to get rid of the white space. You could also use the boundary warp. So it, it tries to blend and it moves the perspective in order to achieve the same result. But the new feature is fill edges. So if we click auto fill white edges, Lightroom is going to attempt to fill it in using Photoshop's content aware and I am actually really shocked at how quickly and accurately that worked. So let's go ahead and say merge because what I'd really like to do is compare it to the previous photo because what I'm looking for, or the question I'm asking is, does this new feature really make a difference? So let's choose merge. This is gonna take just a moment. Okay, so here is our merged photo. Now let's look at this in comparison to last year's version. And there's a huge difference. We were able to retain a lot more of the images, excuse me, the image using the fill images, which is utilizing the content aware fill from Photoshop. Now I still feel like I might need to level this image a little bit, which would cause me to lose some of that. but. I think this is a very promising new feature and I hope that you found this quick video useful. I'll see you in the next one.